Good day, learners! This is the TV-based instruction, a program of the Division of Dabao de Oro, where education continues at your respective television. My name is Teacher Ricardo Imanig Camos Jr. from Mapaka Elementary School, Compostela West District. Your science teacher for this session. For the guidance of our audience, this episode is for Grade 4 Science. After going through this module, you are expected to describe the functions of the major organs of the human body. Specifically, you will learn to identify the major organs and describe the functions of the bones, joints, and muscles. You are a special creation gifted with life. All life is precious. And this is why you should respect all forms of life. What do living things need in order to survive? This module helps you understand and appreciate life more. Let us find out how well you know about the functions of the major organs of the body. On page 2 of your module, answer the let us try part. The direction is, Write the letter of the correct answer in your notebook or separate sheet of paper.
Thank you for answering the test seriously and honestly. Now, let's move on to another part of our learning journey. Our bones give our body support and shape. Some enable us to move while some protect internal organs. Joints are parts where two or more bones meet. Joints are either freely movable, such as in our hips and shoulders, slightly movable, like our spinal column, and immovable or fixed, like the skull. Meanwhile, muscles are like engines that drive our body to move. They work in teams and coordinate with the bones. This time, you are going to answer Activity 1 entitled, Do you know me? Under the Let Us Study part of the module. The direction is, Rearrange the jumbled letters inside the box to form the correct word being described by the group of words at the right. Do it in your notebook. Number one, located just below the waist. Number two, consists of 26 vertebrae. Number three, consists of 12 ribs on each side of the body. Number four, protects the brain. Number five, provide support for the body. After honestly answering this, you may check the answers at the last part of this module. My dear learners, did you get the right answers? Very good! You're doing great! On page 5 of your module, you will find Activity 2 under the Let Us Practice. The direction for this activity is you are going to identify what is being described in its statement. Choose the correct letter from the box. Number 1. It is the framework of the body. Number two, longest bone found in the legs. Number three, a bone that protects the brain. Number four, it is the muscle of the heart. Number five, muscle of the stomach is an example of Number six, it connects the bones and the muscles.
Number 7. They protect the spinal cord. Number 8. A tough cord or band of tissues that joins a muscle to the bones. Number 9. It protects the heart and lungs. Number 10. The part where two bones meet. Again, after honestly answering this, you may check the answers at the last part of this module. On the next page, which is page 6, you will find the Let Us Practice More. Under this is Activity 3, which is Check your progress. In the next activity, you will learn to identify the parts of the skeletal system. The direction is identify the numbered part of the skeletal system. Write the answer in your notebook. Choose words inside the box. Learners, did you get the right answers? You are amazing! You've learned a lot about the functions of bones, muscles, and joints. Now, let us assess how far have you understood our lesson for today. Open your module on page 7 and answer the let us assess part. The direction is fill in the process map to describe how the organs work. There are about 206 bones in the human body. All of these bones are attached to one another. All together, these bones make up your skeletal system. The skull helps protect the brain. Ball and socket joints are the ones found in the shoulder. The backbones protect the spinal cord. The ribs form a protective cage around the heart and lungs. The pelvic bones support our body when we sit. The bones in our body are also connected with each other. The point where two bones meet and connect is called a joint. Our joints and muscles allow our bones to move. The movements of our body originate in our joints. Muscles enable our body to move. They also give shape and forms to our body and protect delicate organs. Muscles are voluntary and involuntary. 
I am sure that this day has been a fruitful one because we have learned something new. This only proves that not even COVID-19 can stop us from learning. Once again, this is Teacher Ricardo Imanig Camos Jr. from Mapaka Elementary School, Compostela West District. Always remember, dito sa TV Skwela, sa pag-aaral, sama-sama. Bye-bye!